So here's why every AI SEO writer sucks and you should not be using one, okay? So as you know, there are a lot of AI writers, right? Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of them, right? And the issue and the reason why every single one of them is bad, it's because, put it simply, they're just a writer. That's the single biggest issue, right? I mean, ChatGPT is great, right? We all love ChatGPT. It can write articles for us. All these can too, but they're just writers. And the single most important thing about AI and this amazing technology that is AI is saving you time because time is money, right? And just having a software and paying for a software on a monthly basis, right? Because all these, you got to pay them monthly to use them, right? That just writes for you isn't enough. Well, it was enough when it first came out, right? Because, I mean, again, I, I give this analogy all the time, right? To reach the number one position, right? The, where you make a lot of money, right? With SEO, you used to have to do all the things manually, including writing the content. But now you can just put it in ChatGPT and it just writes it all for you. So it skips out of the line, right? It just jumps over it, right? And again, people that are not using these AI writers will just be left behind because they are still doing it manually, which doesn't make any sense, right? The issue is that as time goes on, right, more and more people start to realize they can just use AI and leverage AI to write for them. So they're going to stop going up the ladder step by step and just going to, like, skip ahead. Now, what happens when everyone can skip ahead is that the goalpost moves even further, right? Because if everyone can easily reach this step right here, right, the people that will make, that will make the most money are the people that can get reach the step above, right? And the reason why these won't let you reach the step above is because they lack automation, right? They're just writers. And again, I'm a thousand percent biased because I do own Journalist AI. But the thing is that we are the only software that allows you to have and fully automate your stuff, right? Not just write the content, right? And you're probably tired of hearing or of hearing me like speak about this, but I mean, the, the results, we have a bunch of results to back it up. I, I won't dive too deep into these ones, but I mean, they're insane. Even SCMRESH commented on the results. I mean, I went over these results over and over again. I should probably get new ones, which we do have. But the thing about leveraging any of these AI writers is that they lack automation, right? And also, when you're producing an article, right? Let's say this is an article I've written with, let's say, ChatGPT or any other one, any other one of these ones right here, right? Um, it gives me a big wall of text, right? Maybe it'll give me some images. Let's, let's just assume with ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT doesn't give, me, doesn't give me any images. It just gives me a big wall of text, right? The thing that happens when you use Journalist AI is that the articles have in-article images, in-article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. Also, links, links to other pages of yours, all built automatically for you, right? You don't have to go out and look inside of the article to find the best place, the best anchor text, link it out, find the relevant page link out to. No, the AI reads this page, reads your page, and finds the best place to add links to, internal links, also external links, right? So again, you go up the ladder step by step if you are doing this manually, but AI does it automatically for you. Then it takes the article and automatically syndicates them, sorry, automatically posts it to your WordPress blog, Shopify store blog, Webflow, Wix blogger, all these platforms automatically with just one click. None of these do this, okay? ChatGPT doesn't even do it, of course. Um, and if they do, it's not really an automation, right? Because there's like a feature here that's an auto-blogging, auto-blog, sorry, that automatically does this for you on autopilot. And when I say auto-blogging, I mean writing plus, sorry, writing plus publishing. And I don't mean the publishing in the sense that it goes live. You can send it to the website in draft form so then you can revise it yourself and uh, proofread it, edit it, and change some things up, okay? But again, then after the post is uh, published to your site, you can automatically syndicate it to all your social media platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all these ones with dedicated social media captions, okay? And again, if you were to do all this manually, you have to go step by step by step by step. Not to mention that this also does the cure research for you and a bunch more stuff. But my point here is that I'm not trying to sell you on journalist AI, I'm trying to sell you on leveraging AI that does not just the writing, but that does everything else for you. Because again, the goalpost is moving, moving further and further because as anyone can have easy access to these tools, for example, ChatGPT, the goalposts will move further. And the people that are able to automate most of these processes, writing, publishing, indexing, all this automated with Journalist AI, by the way, cure research, uh, social syndication, right? Publishing, all this, the people that are able to do it, they'll do so much more, so much faster. So again, if there's this amazing technology called AI, artificial intelligence, where the goal is to 
in my opinion at least, make humans more productive, make them able to do more stuff faster, you gotta leverage it. And if you're just using a writer, right? It's, I mean, it's the age of the writers is long gone, right? We are looking for AI assistants, AIs that can do writing, publishing, indexing, ranking, right? Look at uh, the, the pages that are ranking, find ways we, in which we can optimize our own articles to rank above them. So there's a lot that comes into play in, in, in here. And that's why this, uh, the results are as they are right here, because it's much more than just a writer, okay? And so short one, but I want to throw this in here because again, I urge you, you don't even have to use journalist AI, don't if you don't want to use it, but if you are using AI, in your SEO efforts, in your marketing efforts, make sure to leverage an AI that allows you to skip ahead of the line, right? Not just an AI that allows you to st um, jump a couple of steps, right? Hopefully this is making sense, okay? And by the way, if you want access to all, all these case studies and how, how these people are doing it and what they did exactly step by step, there's gonna be a link in the description for this. There's gonna be two, actually, there's gonna be a link for journalist AI if you wanna give it a go. And there's gonna be a link for, for how this was achieved, all these case studies. And if you watch this far, I guess, if you do want to use this, for, uh, give it a go for free. But if you do open this chat bubble right here and tell the guys that you came from this YouTube video, just paste in the URL right here and tell them, listen, guys, I, I watched this video. I want a coupon code. The guys will give you a coupon code so you can try it out for a, a discount. Still, you can give it a go for free if you'd like. But yeah, that's basically it. my point is that leverage an AI that does the most for you as you can, right? Don't just be stuck with a writer. Go for the next step after because this industry is evolving so, so fast that... Me, myself, of course, and you have to be on top of things. And if you're not, I mean, you're just going to get left behind. So yeah, that's it. Short one. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Hey, Vasco from the future here. I felt like I needed to show you the output of, of this AI writer, even though it's so much more than a writer, right? Um, if you're just using AI for writing, I felt like I should show you because this is the best one that's out there, I mean, better than anyone else, any single thing that's out there. I mean, again, I'm 100% biased, but I, I can assure you that if you test all of them, you're going to end up using journalist AI because I mean, it's almost the best one. So I want to show you the output of, of the content that uh, this puts out. And so here's this right here, sorry, is the input, right? You give the, to the AI, sorry. Just like with ChatGPT, give it a prompt in here. This is the, I guess, prompt you give, it, give to the AI to produce the, the content. You can choose how many articles you want. Uh, let's just do one for now, right? You can choose if you want videos, enable it. You can choose if you want images. Uh, you can choose a bunch of like image uh, sources, AI-based ones, your custom own brand images, Bing images, stock photos. Let's just do... Um, yeah, images, I want in article images. I want photorealistic, uh, that's it. I feel a bit more breakdown on how all these work. There's like videos on that. I won't do it right now. External linking, we want automatic external links. Internal linking, we won't do it right now. Structure, let's just leave it as it is. Formatting as well. Knowledge, let's connect it to the web. Perfect content. Let's do English, creative, U US, that's all good. And the, let's do an AI article um, title. How to uh, cut the nails of my golden retriever. Okay, perfect. And let's just hit generate right here. And uh, it should take a couple of seconds. My, my goal here again is to show you how, how the output of this is because it's a thousand, bet, a thousand times better than anything else that's out there. And while this generates, show you that this is so much more than an AI writer, right? There's blog automation, right? You can have your blog running literally on autopilot. Publishing sorry, generating and then publishing articles, tailored articles, SEO optimized to your blog on autopilot, right? And also you can do the key research. So then the content generated is based on key research done by AI. And then after it's published, again, you can syndicate it to social media right here. Just set your social media right here, connect your LinkedIn, connect your Facebook, connect your Twitter, and we'll post dedicated blog posts to your social media so you can get traffic in from social media to your site. Automatic linking, so this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, automatically builds internal and external links for existing blog posts of yours. Let's say, for example, you had a blog post or even a web page written like a year ago, right? It's a lot of work to go to that page, read through it, and find the best places to add links to, and then find, okay, where am I going to be linking out to, right? And so REI does everything automatically for you. So it reads through all the page, right? Oh, let's just jump back here in a second here. So as I was saying, it reads through all the page, right? And finds the best place to add links to, both internal and external links uh, and a bunch more stuff. So let's just view the article right here. How to cut the nails of a golden retriever. AI generated image right here. Table of contents, as you see here. Uh, key takeaways, as you see, perfect. In article images, proper coding structuring, as you see here, external links. And there should be also a video right here. Again, not just some random video. Uh, again, a video 
tailored to what the content is about. Again, the article was about uh, um, trimming the dog nails, in specific, a golden retriever nails, right? And so the video is exactly about how to trim uh, your dog's uh, nails, right? So again, nothing is put in here randomly. None of the links are random, none of the videos are random, random so none of the images are random, all this done automatically for you with AI. And if you wanna publish to your site, you can just click here, it will be automatically published to your site. Right. If you want to make some changes, you can sue as well. Just create a revision and you can change things around. Maybe you want to add a link here. You can add a link here. Maybe you want to replace this image. You can replace the image. Maybe you want to make sure that there's another heading right here. You can do another heading right here if you'd like. So you can, you can change things around. You can play around with it. You can download the article if you want. So that's basically it. I want to make sure I threw this in here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, two links in the description. One to access, sorry, one to access this software right here and two to see the, uh, actual uh, case studies right here if you want to break down on how these was achieved. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.